Virginia, if you've had blood tests that indicate LPS in the gut, do you have any resources to getting rid of LPS? Um, okay, Virginia, that's a good question. So LPS is a natural part of the gut. Um, there are various microbes within the intestine called gram-negative bacteria um, that are that among the trillions of bacterial cells, some of them have LPS. And LPS is basically a little lipid kind of dangling on the surface. It's a fat dangling on the surface of the bacteria. And some of these remnants will move from the gut into the blood through this paracellular transport. Uh, what happens here then is that you have these remnants of, of a gut microbe that is slipping between the cells. Normally, when something's moving from the gut into the blood, it's supposed to be moving through a cell where the cell can control what's coming in. In this case, you get what's leaky is that stuff is leaking between the cells. Um, so you have LPS that's moving through. So your question about LPS in the gut, LPS in the gut is no problem. It's when it's LPS in the blood and, and you can get that measured. That there, There's a clinical test to measure LPS in the, in the blood. Now, an interesting aspect of LPS life cycle is that one of the primary ways to get rid of LPS from the blood is LDL. Yes, the dreaded vilified cholesterol. The LDL, this lipoprotein has on it something called the LPS binding domain. It will literally bind an LPS and take it to the liver. And then the liver will dump it through the bile duct into the intestines to be dumped out, to be pooed out, to be literally dumped from the body. Isn't that amazing? This is one of the primary reasons why people with the lowest LDL levels have the highest risk of severe infections and even dying from infections. These things called sepsis, this problem called sepsis, which is when the infection and the inflammation gets so bad, it, it kills your body. The lowest LDL levels have the highest risk of infection. The higher the LDL, the lower the risk of these severe septic or sepsis conditions. So LDL is a friend when it comes to LPS. In fact, in another world, in another universe, LDL would have been not vilified as a contributor to cholesterol with heart disease and atherosclerosis. It would have been set as a champion of the immune system because it is a very relevant part of the immune system. I'm not even being a heretic in saying that. There's abundant articles talking about the immune role of LDL cholesterol or LDL, calling it cholesterol is a bit silly because it's a big lipoprotein complex. So there's enormous lines of evidence and entire careers that have been focused on the role of LDL as an immune regulator and indeed a beneficial regulator. It's helpful for immunity.